this weekend post a few tricks for the spot removal tool in Lightroom. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to InPost. Thanks for joining me today. Before I go into today's topic, I want to get your photo questions. Send them on in to me. Comments in the video below. When you ask a question there is fine. Send them to me through email. You can contact me right through my website if you want to keep it uh, you know, off the, the public interwebs. And uh, I usually turn around and answer in a day or two, but I, I want to find out what's on your mind photographically. That'll help me create content that better serves the folks that are watching this video. Now with that, um, I want to talk today about Lightroom's spot removal tool. Now, chances are you know this tool already, right? You fire it up, you have a sensor's dust spot or you know, a small blemish on a person's face, something in the, in the frame that you just don't want there. You click on it and it goes away and you move on with uh, the rest of your processing. But I wanna show you a couple of other tricks with this tool that you might not know about. And I was reminded of them, one in particular, as I was working on this photo from Encinitas, California. I'm going to press the Q key to activate the tool. I'm going to see I've got a bunch of different of these spots already taken care of. Now, the, the first thing I want to show you about this is how to go through your entire image looking for spots or blemishes or things. You know, as a landscape photographer, I need to check every section of my photo to see if I've got any type of blemishes. Now, the, uh, the way that I do that is I'm going to open up the navigator here on the left side so we can see what's going on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is zoom in to 100%. So you can see this is the window, this is the area that we're looking at right now. Now on a Mac, if I use the function and arrow keys, and on a uh, Windows machine, it'll be page up, page down, and I think the home key works here as well. I'm gonna hit the function and left arrow key, and look what that did to the navigator. It moved this window all the way up to the upper left corner. Now what I can do with this is look at this section of the frame. You probably know about visualize spots. That's down here at the bottom. And there's a shortcut for it, the A key. We can toggle it on and off with the A key. So I can click on it or I'm gonna move the mouse out of the way. I can press the A key and it will toggle on and off. And so I'll look at this segment of the photo, usually both with visualize spots turned on and turned off, seeing if there's anything wrong with the frame. Then I want to move to the next segment of my photo. Well, here's the cool thing with this, uh, with this tool. I'm going to do a function arrow down or page down on a Windows machine and look what happened to the navigator. I went to the next block beneath where I was previously. I'm going to do that function arrow down again. I've gone to the third block. I'll do it again. We move over to the next column, right? And so I can work through my entire photo just like this. And at each section, I would toggle on and off, visualize spots, see if I've got something I need to deal with. I might even have a little artifact of something up here. Yep, you can see I've got a, a spot there. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Great. And then I can do my page down or my you know function arrow key down and work through the rest of the photo. So I can make sure I visited every single segment of the image and I haven't missed a pixel. Now the second tip that I want to show you with this tool is when you're working with a bunch of different small things in a confined area that you want to retouch away and use the spot removal tool on it. So in this case here, I've got the, the side of the hill here and I've got a bunch of different spots taken care of. But let's say that, I'm going to turn off the tool for a moment so we can just point. Let's say that this little collection of you know brighter parts of the brush I want to remove that. Uh, it looks like I've got a bit of duplication going on because I know I did some cloning work here and I want to make that go away because I don't want to have a repeating pattern in my photo. Well, I'll act activate the, uh, the spot removal tool with the Q key. But now when I want to try and touch on here, well, what happens? I hover over my already existing retouch and I can select it, but I, I want to get beyond that. I want to get underneath it and I want to touch that. Well, what do we do? down in the toolbar. Remember the visualize spots. Well, right next to it, we have this tool overlay. I'm gonna change this to never. Now, nothing is here. I'm still active. I still have my spot removal tool open, but now I can go in and touch that one spot that is right beneath what was otherwise you know, a, uh, a segment. Now, it looks like that didn't do a very good job I'll change the tool overlay to selected. So now I'm just seeing the one point, that one I just touched. I can adjust that one individually to something a little more reasonable. And then let's go back to never so we can take a look. 
that looks a lot better, right? And once I'm done with that type of work, I usually turn the tool back over to auto so I can see, you know, where I've put spots and so forth. So that is a, a kind of like a little hidden thing that is not, it's not very obvious, but there is a way to get um, beneath, if you think of it in terms of layers, beneath one of your existing retouches if there's something else that you need to get in there and fix up. The tip of the week is the tool overlay mode for the spot removal tool. That's something that's not obvious, and when you need to do retouches, uh, a bunch of them in a small confined area, set that to never so you can freely work with just the pixels in your photo. Uh, and occasionally you may set it to selected, so as you make one retouch, you can fine tune it, move the sample point wherever you need to. So don't overlook that particular little gem in the spot removal tool. That'll do it for this week's in post. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please send in your photo questions. If there's something on your mind photographically, I'd like to hear about it. And I'll usually turn an answer around to you in a day or two. And it might spark an idea for a future video because chances are, if you're wondering about it, there are others that are as well. So until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.